Bellaways presents Tech Talk at Three, Amazon Show and Tell with Andrew Coleman. So welcome everyone to uh, Tech Talk at Three. It's Andrew from Galloways and I hope you're all doing well. Um, I can't believe we're, we're almost at March, uh, getting into the springtime. Hopefully the days are going to be a little bit lighter and we can all get out and about. But hopefully you'll still be joining us on Tech Talk at Three every Thursday. Uh, making time for that. It's great to see you all as always. And uh, and today we're going to be um, having a look um, at the uh, the Amazon Echo Show device. Um, and um, for those of you that don't know, uh, the Echo Show is a device um, with a screen and a camera and um, it embodies the, the Alexa voice service. So I'm sure a lot of you have, have, have got an Alexa device or you've heard about the, the Amazon Echo devices that, that support the Alexa voice service. Um, the, the, the Echo Show um, is a device that also provides visuals on a screen, um, but the visuals and the, the text on the screen can also be uh, accessed using um, a feature called Voice View which is designed uh, for people with low vision uh, and, and blind people. So it's great that the actual device is accessible to those who can't see, because a lot of people have said to me, what's the point of me getting an Echo Show with a screen if I can't see it? So it is quite a, de a debatable thing, but there is actually quite a lot that you can do on the screen with the, the built-in voice view. And I will go through uh, that on, a, on another session uh, in, in good time but to whet your appetite as to why I think this is worth having um, this I'm using a device called the the Echo Show 8 which is an 8 inch screen device and I will I'm going to be showing it a little bit later on but the range of Echo Show devices now have a, a brand new feature which I'm going to be demonstrating called show and tell and that is actually what that basically means is you can show a product or an item um, to your device and the built-in camera can actually take a picture of that item. Uh, and as it takes a picture of the item, it tries to recognize the, uh, the text on there um, or it'll, it will also look at the, look at the image as well. Um, and it'll look at the image and it'll try and cross-reference that on its database, its image database, or, or through Amazon as well. And it will uh, it'll basically try and tell you uh, what that particular image is, which I think is absolutely amazing. Um, so we're going to be having a look at that today. But to start with, uh, I'm going to play uh, a short video um, about, the, about, the, about the service. Uh, just to give you a bit more of an idea of what it's about. So here we go. I am totally blind. It's been eight years this December. I went through every single room and reorganized it so that I knew where every single thing was because in my house, I was not going to feel blind. Alexa, what am I holding? It looks like tea for a world of teas. But when you have other people in the household, Things get moved all the time. Hi, Brett. Hi, Stacy. Ready to go? I guess so. All right, let's go test it out. Okay. My job is to help people with visual impairments and to see how technology can affect people's lives and make them feel better about what they do on a day to day basis. I lost my vision when I was 10 years old. I, I'm a stay at home dad, and I, you know, I do a lot of cooking. And there's a lot of things I can't see. The whole idea for Show and Tell came about from customer feedback, actually. Challenges around identifying things in their pantry. And we thought, yeah, we can do this. We can help here. I'm going to give you a product, and then you're going to say, Alexa, what am I holding? Let's see. It looks like 365 everyday value macaroni. Great. That's awesome. I think that's garlic powder. Wow, that's impressive. It's critical for us that we're working with our customers, building with them, not just building for them. They really need our feedback to tell them what we need. You'll hear sounds to help you position your item. It looks like organic canned pineapple. Whoa, is that what it is? Oh my gosh. 
All these devices that are acting as your eyes, I think it's very revolutionary. For me, the less stress I have to put on somebody else is less stress on me. And it makes me feel good. Okay, so that was a little video um, that came out a couple of years ago uh, about the, the show and tell feature on Amazon. And I can't tell you how long I've waited for it to come out in the UK. It's been out in the US for uh, a number of years, which is which is basically what Amazon tend to do with new features to their devices, new facilities. They will test them a lot in the US and then eventually they will start to release the software and the additional features worldwide. So it's not only really just come to the UK last year. Um, so it's very, very much in its infancy, if, if you like it. To me, it, it, uh, it still feels like it's in development, but that doesn't mean that you, know, you wouldn't want to jump in and start using this technology um, right away because it's, it's available. How is it useful? Where can you use it? As we know, all of the Echo um, devices um, from um, from Amazon, they're all designed around being around your home. So in your living room, in your bedroom, the the Echo Show is is quite good for um, having in your kitchen um, because you can use it for lots of different things. People use them for cooking. Uh, they can, you can have, have play videos on the screen, you can do cook-alongs. There's loads of different things that you can do as well as having video calls, um, which obviously utilize the camera. But that's where obviously where the show and tell uh, function comes in and what I was most excited about um, when, I, when I bought one of these. And to be honest with you, I only bought the Echo Show originally because of the promise of the show and tell feature uh, and how, how good I thought that was going to be. Um, so I'm going to do a little demonstration of, of how this works. I'll also talk about the Echo Show. I'll give it a bit of a, 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 demo, a bit of a description first, so you get an idea of what it looks like, how big it is, where the buttons are, all those types of things as well. And then I'll do it. I've got my shop. I've just been shopping. No, I haven't really. I've been to the kitchen. That's as far as I get to a shop nowadays. Um, and as far as exercise goes, it's kind of to the fridge and back and up and down the stairs. So anyway, so I've got I've got me shopping with me uh, and I'm going to get some items out of, of the shopping bag and try and recognize them with the show and tell feature. And hopefully we can um, we can get an idea of, of what it's all about. OK, so now I've just got to do some trickery and here we go. So this is the Amazon Echo Show. Screen Queens forever. Amazon. Brothers fan. Stop. Okay. So this device is um, it, the wake word for this device is actually A M A Z O N. Uh, so I won't I won't keep saying that word, otherwise it will keep listening to me all the time. So in front of me is kind of a flat screen. Um, and it's, it's eight inches um, from one corner to, to the other. So that's why it's called the, the Echo Show 8. And in the right-hand corner of the device, um, it's quite hard to see, to be honest, but there is a little camera there. And above the camera, on the, the rim of the device, on the top, there is a button which can turn the camera on and off. Uh, when I turn it off, it shows a little kind of red indent to represent on the top of the device, on the button, that I've actually switched it off. So that is the camera button. So it's kind of a privacy thing. If you're worried that someone can log into one of these devices and look at you, which doesn't happen, by the way, but just in case, you kind of, you're at ease the fact that, you know, if I switch this button, it's a physical kind of um, lock that goes over the camera lens so nobody could see you. So obviously I'm going to open that again so we're able to, we're able to see it. If I come um, to the other side of the device, on the top of the device, uh, we have um, a couple of buttons and, uh, and microphones on top of the device. So we've got a, an action button, which you don't really um, use that much. 
um, and also a, a mute button. And there's also a volume down and a volume up button as well if you want to physically press buttons to change the volume on the device. But you don't have to do that. On the back of the device is the speaker. So it is a little bit strange, but the speaker actually faces the back of the device. So with one, of, with one of these devices, I would always recommend not putting it right against the wall have a bit of have a bit of a gap a bit of space so the sound can move from the back of the speaker and the device um in the in the back of the speaker itself you've obviously got the um the plug socket which is an ac power um and you've got um a usb connection as well and a he and um a headphone connection which is which is good you can plug your headphones in there as well i've got mine on um, a little stand actually, which um, it's got a magnetic strip underneath, which is compatible with lots of with lots of different stands on the market to just kind of tilt the device up and and make it easier to see. Um, but it's not been significant on my version. So um, obviously, I can speak to this device. I can say, Amazon, what time is it? It's three twenty-seven p.m. Okay, so I'm just keeping myself on track there by asking what by asking what the time is. Um, obviously, this thing this can do many things that the A lady can do, that Alexa can do, from your music, your radio stations, the time, the weather, playing games, everything, but all with a visual element. Um, it can also do things um, like you know show your pictures off. Um, you can watch Netflix on this. You can do lots of different things, and you'll get the sound obviously again coming from the back. But today we're concentrating on this 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 accessibility feature that um, that uh, Amazon have worked on, uh, which is called Show and Tell, uh, and I'm going to give a little a bit of a, a a description on on how that works now. So I'm going to going to pick a couple of random products out my uh, out my shopping bag. Here's my shopping bag down here. I'm going to have a little look and see what I've got in here. I've got all kinds of bits and bobs. Um, let me have a little look. Let's have a gander in here. It's quite interesting how this works. So, okay, I have got in here. Okay, I've got some eat natural low sugar granola. Now, obviously, I've told you what that is already, and that the whole purpose of that is so that you can see how accurate this is in terms of recognizing this product. Okay, now, as I said before, um, when we take a picture. When, when, the, when the Echo Show tries to recognise this product, it will reference its image in its own database. Not only that, if it doesn't recognise the image, it will try and take the text off the packaging and give you some text using optical character recognition, so using speech to or text-to-speech technology. So if it can't do it perfectly, it will still try and give you some indication of what, of what it is. And then hopefully you can you can kind of know what it is. As far as my experience is with this has gone, it's really mainly just for recognizing the product. I haven't yet had a lot of success with it, you know, reading cooking instructions and things like that. But I do believe, as we know, um, with with the A lady, um, she gets better and better and better. So it wouldn't surprise me if this really does improve in the future. OK, so here's what we do. We're in the kitchen. We come to our device. We've got a product here that we've we've pulled out the uh, the cupboard, and we can't remember what it is. So we're going to say, um, tell um um, what am I holding? That is what you're going to say to the to the device. So, for example, I would say, Amazon, what am I holding? Let's see. Okay, and at the moment, it can just see me with my phone. And it's making an. It's actually you making. Hold your item about twelve inches above the work surface and centered with the camera. So it's actually making um, an audible sound. Remember to hold your item about twelve inches above the work surface and centered with the camera. Amazon, stop. Okay, so it will give you those instructions when you first use this particular feature. So you need to hold the product above the work surface about twelve inches from the device. And as we do this, we will get, we will actually get 
a visual kind of display of what we're holding in front of the camera for those with low vision. But you do get audible beeps as well to tell you if you're doing this correctly. And eventually you get a little kind of a bing when you when when you've successfully scanned it. So I'm going to get ready with this. I'm going to hold this in front of the camera. I'm going to find out what it is. Amazon, what am I holding? Let's see. It looks like eat natural granola. Okay, I need a little bit more practice doing that, but it's actually found it, eat natural granola. And because this has got voice view built into it, if I tap on the screen. Low sugar granola, a low sugar, high fiber and high flavor granola with clump whole grain oats, toasted almonds, crunchy buckwheat, sunflower seeds and a dash of coconut blossom nectar vertical bar jump start your day. Kick things off with a breakfast that's packed with wholesome natural ingredients. Over six grams of fiber. That's enough of that. I've just tapped two fingers on the screen to tell it to be quiet. It also will, um, it also displays, and doesn't really tell you really, but it also displays a picture um, off, off, obviously off the, um, off the database, Amazon's database, of the product in question. Um, so really, I mean, that's not going to um, help somebody that can't see at all but for those of us with low vision we could see that picture but we do get the text about we get the text about the product which, um, which obviously degrees. will tell us sunny. that we've got the right one okay so that is the uh the the eat natural granola so um it's actually empty i've eaten it all <laughs> but uh, i saved it purposely for this for this particular reason right the next item i've got if you're not sure what it is Here's one of my favourites, HP sauce. You can't have a bacon butty without it. Okay. In fact, you can't have a you can't have any type of breakfast butty without HP sauce. So um, this is my favourite. It goes on everything. Um, right. So um, we're gonna we're gonna hold this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do it the wrong way around actually. First time round. Okay, on purpose. So here we go. So uh, Amazon, what am I holding? Let's see. Try moving your items slowly up or down. It looks like HP sauce brown sauce. And I was actually holding that guys the wrong way. Um, not the easiest way for the camera to recognize it. So I was holding it um, the opposite side with the label and uh, the information about the product. So um, again, this is looked it up on the, the, ALA, the Amazon database. And if I just tap on the screen, Legendary and uniquely distinctive sauce vertical bar ideal on sausages and bacon sandwiches. Vertical bar, no artificial colours, flavours or preservatives. Vertical bar. I love the way it says it's ideal for bacon and sausage sandwiches. Isn't that brilliant? Is that spot on? I told you I was right all along. So if I turned it the other way, it would get that correct as well. If I, if I turned, I've got the HP, the proper kind of branded side of the bottle up now, the HP side. If it obviously did it that way, it will get it as well, and it will and it will tell you what that is. Now, gonna throw a curveball at this because if you have a product, okay, that's kind of that's kind of um, um, not necessarily uh, a brand, you know, branded on on Amazon, or you might have got it from Aldi or Lidl or somewhere like that. It's not necessarily going to find it correctly. However, it will try and get your text off the product to tell you what it is, or it will ask you to keep moving the products around to show different sides uh, to try and to try and find out what it is. Now, what I've got here are some um, I've got some harvest harvest moon rice cakes, uh, salt and vinegar flavour. Not tried these ones, but I will do now. That I've got them. I didn't know we had them in the cupboard, but I just found them. So. I'm going to give this a go. So here we go. Amazon, what am I holding? Let's see.
Show me another side. Okay, it wants another side of it. Show me another side. Okay. I'm just turning it with my hand. Remember to hold your item centered with the camera at about 12 inches away. I read the following words. Harvest more reek cakes. Flavor. <laughs> it seems to have got um, harvest morn um, rig cakes. Okay, so I think that means rice cakes. Might have slightly been a bit of light, been a bit of um, distortion in the image. I might have wobbled it a little bit, but I think we probably still know what these were. So if I touch the screen again, harvest. Come on, read that back to me. Unknown prop. Harvest morn rig cakes. Harvest. Flavor. Harvest morn rice cakes. It'd be good if I got it right, wouldn't it? Did I said harvest moon before. It's actually harvest morn. Get it right, Andrew. Um, so, yeah. So you kind of have a good idea of, uh, of what that was. Um, and then um, if I was to, uh, again, I've got here, I want to well, we'll do a few more products. I've got here some um, snack right. Yeah, snack right. Uh, Crispy fries, salt and vinegar, degrees. salt and vinegar, crispy, crispy fries. They're basically like the Walkers ones, but they're not Walkers. They're um, the snack right. I think they're from Aldi or Lidl or somewhere like that. Anyway, it's not gonna. It's probably not gonna pick up the branding of this, okay? But hopefully, it picks up some of the text off the packet, okay? So let's give it a go. Amazon, what am I holding? Let's see. See if it works. That noise is good. Show me another side. I want another side, okay. There's another side. Show me another side. What's another side, okay. There we go. I read the following words. Salt vinegar, snack right crispy. So, okay, I, I can deal with that. Salt, vinegar, snack, right, crispy. Salt, vinegar, snack, right, crispy. There we go. So, you know, I kind of get an idea. If you'd bought these, you know, um, you know, or someone, you know, you'd been shopping, you would know that you bought these, wouldn't you? And once you've scanned them, you're going to go, yeah, put two or two together. I know exactly what they are now. And I know what flavour they are because you've got the salt and vinegar as well. So that's, you know, that's kind of spot on as well. Um, and... Uh, I'm going to do one more. What should we What should we pick here? I can tell you that I've tried an apple and it doesn't know what an apple is because it's just not a product. It's just an apple. So it, does, it doesn't get that, unfortunately. I've tried a mug. I've got a, uh, a dark mug here. And if I scan this mug, um, it will tell me that it says it's got cappuccino on it. It's got uh, coffee on it, latte. It's got all different names of coffee all around the mug. And it will read all those but it won't actually tell me it's a mug. Okay, never mind. Maybe it'll come in, in time. Um, I'm going to give this a little bit of go. It was Pancake Tuesday recently, so I've got uh, Dr. Edgar uh, Pancake Mix. So um, I'm going to give this one a go and see what it comes, see what it comes back with. So Amazon, what am I holding? Let's see. Let's see, come on. Show me another side. Oh, what's another side? Okay. Show me another side. There we go. And if you hear the beep stopping, just move it up and down and a bit forward towards the device. Show there. me another side. Oh, it's got it. Okay. It looks like Urca sugar. Oh, isn't that interesting? It's come up with a different product this time around. Vanilla sugar vertical bar pack of 10 sachets vertical bar Dr. Urca brand from Germany. Okay. So if that happens, if that happens, forgive it. Don't hold it against it. Give it another go, okay? Because technology isn't always perfect. So the, the rule of the thumb is, is give it another go. Amazon, what am I holding? Let's see. Show me another side. Okay.
Show me another side. I read the following words. American style. Pancake mix add. Drinker makes seven pancakes. I told you, didn't I? Forgive it. Give it another go. Interestingly, what it's done this time, it's not the first time we, we scanned this product. It, it, it got the wrong product, but it actually came up with a, a product from the database that it thought it had recognised. This time, it's actually not recognised this as a product, but it has taken some of the text off the packaging and then displayed that um, on, on, the, on the Echo Show for us. And of course, if I, if I use my finger on the screen, three forty, just got rid of it by accident. But obviously, you just heard it um, speak back. So use your finger on the screen and, and then it will read it back to you. So it is a little bit of, um, it is a little bit, a bit of a compromise. Um, it's built it's built in to all the echo shows now in the UK um, and um, this current one I'm using at the moment um, is normally about 119 pounds this Amazon echo show that I'm using you can get the smaller echo show uh, the echo show five which is a five inch device and you can normally pick that up for about 89 pounds but the thing is it's coming up to um, Easter soon and no doubt uh, Amazon will have a sale on again. I actually picked this Echo Show 8 up last year, would you believe? I picked it up for um, £59. That's how much of a sale discount I got on it. So actually, if you're not in the if you're not in a rush to get one of these, keep checking on uh, on on, uh, on on Amazon. Of course, I'll let you know as well. And when they come on offer, I'll let you know. Um, and it's definitely worth waiting for them. So that uh, guys is uh, is show and tell and I think it's great um I do use it a little bit um I think it, it, it it's useful um and you know the thing to do is to um is to just give it a go so bear with me while I uh, I un uh, I change my cameras over get my other headset back on and come back and join you and then we'll we'll go for some questions so bear with me um, for a couple of seconds. But there we go, guys. That was a little bit about the um, the, the show and tell feature. Has anybody got any questions? Me. <laughs> hey, go for go for yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I want to know: Can you teach the device to recognise regular items that you have? Really, to my knowledge, the answer to that is no, not at the moment. Well, that's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a good thing to, to feed back to them, though, isn't it? Because if you have a regular item, say, then, you know, it, especially if you have any dietary requirements in particular, yeah. it, it's quite important. So, yeah, that, that, I, that was, thank you. Oh, really? it's, yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it, no, um, uh, I don't, there isn't an option to do that um as yet um but i wonder if in the future they might bring that out yeah possibly i think actually um this is stuff that we you know we can feed back to to luke actually yeah. and i think and i and i know that i know that um i'm just going to mute my device because it will constantly mode it'll constantly amazon okay it'll constantly listen to me when i say amazon yeah amazon are always keen on feedback <laughs> Mm. Will will the um, will they not develop an AI system within it so that it will automatically? Yeah, I was thinking of the AI. I mean, does it have AI in it? Well, yeah, that that is using AI all the time to recognise oh, so, those products. Well, I thought that. from that it would uh, build up a database. Yeah, I imagine it probably it, it probably does. I think knowing what obviously Amazon do. And how they build data, um, obviously, with voice data and, 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 and how people use their devices, it wouldn't surprise me if they if they did that. Uh, mm. I'm sure that they do. And I think it will definitely develop. Um, it will definitely develop in the future. But they were always keen on feedback. So it's always good yeah. to feed back yeah. to them, you know, what, what people want. Mm. Um, and I'd like to see a little bit more kind of, integration in there so that if i was to scan a product um the the um, and it recognized in the database then Am then the amazon you know the a lady would say do you want to buy this product on amazon prime is that you know do you want to buy it because you can shop through your a lady device and buy things with your voice so it'd be nice if you scanned one of these and then it said do you want to buy it and i and i believe that'll come you know come along as well 
uh, well, call... that's the shop using that um, that show and tell then. Say say again. So you can't actually shop using the show and tell them. What it's you not... can what what you can do is you could scan an item, you know, find out what it is. Yeah. And then and then you could ask the A lady separately to okay. shop for shop for that item. Right. Um, if you okay. if you know if you if you've used the A lady for shopping and you So you could... need the A lady as well as the show and tell them, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, you need to use both on your device, and you can you can generally only do the shopping with the A lady if you're a, an Amazon Prime member. So if you're an Amazon Prime member, which is it's about seventy pound a year for you know um, your online deliveries the next day, also you get loads of other things like music and and and, and Amazon Video and photo storage, and <laughs> all kinds of different stuff. You get that for the price as well, but you do have to be a, um, a prime member to actually shop using your voice. Um, so, not no, I've not done that a lot. I've done a few things with the with the shopping, but I still I kind of still prefer to go on the app and find the products that I want. But I think it'd be pretty cool if they build that in to the show and tell. It's like show, tell, and shop. You know, and then you well, can. It go... would make it more accessible for people yeah. who can't use the app. Yeah. But I think, um, I think again, it's it's a it's a, it's, a, it's it's a new facility. You know, it's a new feature. It's yeah. only been it's only been out in the UK, not even six months. So I think it's great to see this technology coming along in mainstream tech. It was this is a mainstream piece of technology. Yeah. It's not specialised. Um, so you, there's, there is a bit of give and take. There is a bit of uh, compromise as well. And the normal, the normal Alexa, that. That tells you, doesn't it? Ask me questions so I can learn while you're asking these yeah, questions. So it does. Learn, don't they? Yeah. I suppose the only, the only drawback to this is that, you know, if you want to use show and tell, you need an Echo Show device. Yeah. Um, and someone someone did ask me a while back, can you use show and tell through the Amazon app or through the Alexa app? And, and at the moment, you can't. So... You can't use the camera on your smartphone to use the you know the show and tell feature. So it literally is only through the Echo Show range of devices at the moment. Where you can and when, when, show and tell. when you use it to call somebody up, can you see them as well? Yeah. You can, yeah. If so they've got a device. if they've got a device, um, or they've got the they've got the the Amazon app on their smartphone, or so the so the Alexa app on their smartphone. Yeah. Uh, and it's set up correctly, then you can do smartphone video call to Echo Show and vice versa. Um, so that does that does work as well. And a lot of people have said, you know, what's what's the point of having a screen if if you are blind and you can't see? What's the point of having a screen on the Echo Show? Actually, there's a lot, and we'll we'll do it in future weeks. There's the, there's a lot of like content you can navigate and scroll <laughs> through using gestures similar to Android, um, you know, Talkback and, and Apple Voiceover, um, similar to that, but on the Echo Show. So if you're doing things like Netflix or you you're doing Amazon shopping or or, or things like that, um, you know, using manual um, you know manual gestures on the screen. They talk back to you through Amazon's uh, um, through Amazon's Voice View screen reader, and that's actually built into the Echo Show. Um, uh, so it's a bit, you know, it's people will have that debate on whether it's worth it for someone that that can't see very well. Uh, but uh, but actually, the difference in price, you know, in getting one of these as to getting a normal uh, um, Alexa isn't 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 a million miles. Or is, there isn't a million miles difference, really. It's the future, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's, the it's like how, if you if you telephone somebody and they've got it all set up, they'd like to see whether you can see or not. They'd like to see you to see if you look all right. There is that. There is that, and there's things like you know you, you you can you can ring a friend on you know a video call on your on your on your Echo Show and and ask them. You could say, "What is this I'm holding?" You know, uh, you could do that um, if, if they're not available. Yeah. You know, does my hair oh, look okay? Yeah, you could, couldn't you? Does yeah. my hair look okay? You know, no. does my makeup look good? <laughs> do, do, do you need a, a you recipient? Could, you could draw recipient. a new dog. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a shade of lipstick there, Andrew. Very nice. I'm always uh, game for a, I'm always game for a bit of stick. 
<laughs> uh, just, just a side comment about that. Uh, it's not so much a question, but I'm just confirming my thought. Anybody that <laughs> can't see at all, surely cost-wise, it would pay. I could see the benefit for somebody who can't see at all the show and tell. But really, it's going to make sense. They don't need the big screen. I mean, some people, you can make the, the picture or the print as big as a wall yeah. and they'll not yeah. see it. Yeah. I would think for some people, getting the smallest screen version mm. would be enough because mm. it's the same camera. In yeah, it? the five. Yeah, so the five. Um, I've yeah. got the five downstairs yeah. in my kitchen. Um, yeah. and that's the little. That's the little one. And it's yeah. literally, it's basically... Um, it's a little bit smaller than my um, than my Apple. Let me see if I can get this in the screen because I've got a background on. No. Oh, there we go. Uh, a little yeah, bit, yeah. It's a little bit similar size to my to my iPhone screen. But with, so that would be all little, right in a crowded yeah. kitchen, then, wouldn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. A yeah. A student in a crowded kitchen, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Student accommodation isn't very big, you see, is it? You know. No, no, no. Uh, so you can, anybody... on, you can put it on top of, you know, you can put it on your work surface. Uh, I've got, I've got a little speaker, Bose speaker in the kitchen, so I've got my little five on top of that, and the sound right. comes through me through my Bose speaker, and it's great. I love it, and I can accept a video call in there. Um, I can do the show and tell in there. Obviously, they take something out the cupboard and want to know what it is. Um, so yeah, I mean the um, the 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 show the the show five the Echo Show five is normally I think that's normally around eighty odd quid eighty eighty nine pound. Um, but yeah, well, it's, it's not big it's money. Is it? It's not you know yeah. It's, it's under a hundred pound for anybody that's struggling to pay for one. Yeah, I know. I picked it up for forty quid for forty pounds when it was on offer before well, Christmas. Well, so I thought I'll yeah. Hmm. Thought I'll snap one of them up while they're on offer and and you know get and give it a go. So, so yeah. So there is a demo. Don't get me wrong. I still love my my you know my bog standard Amazon Echoes that adjust the speakers. You know I still love them. So I would, as you all know, I've got like nine um, Echo devices around the house, and that consists of three different Echo shows. Mm -hmm. And the rest of my devices are all Amazon Echoes, but I've got nine in total. So I've I've only got a couple of the Echo shows, but the rest of the devices I have are just the normal um, Amazon Echo speaker devices, like the the Echo Dot or the the normal um, Echo um, range. So what is the, what is the difference between the normal Echo, the Dot? Okay, it's speaker size. Uh, speaker size. Um, this which one, the Dot? Is yeah. a small little speaker and the echo is, is bigger the regular oh, sorry so the so the dot is speaker size the normal mm. echo is bigger or smaller the normal so the 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 i think they're on about their fourth generation now of of echo of echo dot and and the and the 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 the, the all new um echo amazon echo and they've changed the design of them they used to be flat um kind of puck devices like a puck um, they used to be quite flat, but now uh, actually they are um, they're more like a sphere, almost like a like a like a golf ball, if you like, like a speaker. Um, and the I've, I'm, I must admit I've not given the new ones a go. Can you believe that I've not given them a go? But the, 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 there's a small one which is the dot, and that's almost a spear like speaker. And there's a bigger one, um, wow. which um, obviously is a bigger spear. Um, and it's got a, obviously a greater depth of sound to it, and it's got it's actually got some downward kind of subwoofer uh, fire in there as well for more depth and bass. Um, so you've got that that one, um, and and that one's around eighty eighty. I think that's about eighty nine pounds. The normal Amazon Echo, um, and then there is also the uh, the Echo Studio speaker. Which is a high-end studio speaker, and uh, that's about 180 pound. Uh, but that again, if you're a bit more of a muso and you want more high-quality audio, that's what the the Amazon Echo Studio is for. So the, the the thing to do is to is to take a little look at the the specs and and the descriptions on on the Amazon website, and and then go from there. But my advice is, if you've never if you've never had one of these devices before, if you've never experienced the a lady go for a dot to begin with because in my personal opinion you never get the full 
benefits of these devices unless you have more than one. If you've only got one, you're actually not you're not really you're not understanding the full benefits of having these around your home, being able to so listen to you know you an have... audio book in one room, and then go downstairs to the kitchen and carrying on listening to your audio book while you're doing the washing up, and then go into your living room, sit down with your coffee, and then carry on with your audio book in that room. There's loads of things that, in terms of having multiples of these around the home that, that make having more than one um, absolutely worth it. So I'd start with a dot to begin with to just break yourself into that ecosystem. Andrew, key here. I've got a question hey, to ask you. Yeah. Have you got two Echo Show show 10, one in the kitchen and one in the living room and you haven't done a video check. Can you move the video check from the kitchen to the living room? Uh, so do, do you mean can you move them and, and, and move them into different rooms, you mean? Is that what yeah, you think? Yeah, chat. yeah, yeah. You, do, do, do you mean like unplug them, take them into another room? And... No, I mean, talking live, no, what we do on Zoom, but can you move um, from one video chat to the next room? That's what I mean. Oh, okay, okay. Um, that's a good question. I know I know that... Um, like the drop-in feature. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah, I think that's what you mean, don't you? So you can you like can have an intercom, it. you mean? Yeah. Like an intercom yeah. to talk to somebody from one because if you've got a big house, it can be beneficial, can it? If you've a big house. Yeah, you yeah. can do. You can do. I haven't tried group calling yet with with the video side of things, and I believe you know you can do that, and that that's going to come. That's definitely coming in with the new Echo Show Ten that's coming out um, um, later this in, in a couple of months' time. Um, but yeah, you can you can have a video call on on any of them, um, and you can have video calls in your home, like an intercom system as well. If you wanted to, you can talk from one room to another via video or just audio. In terms of moving your conversation from one room to another, like as almost like a well, I'm just going into the living room, mum. So I'll 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 meet you in there. I'm not. I've not tried that. I don't think that you can. I think you'd have to hang. I think you'd have to hang up, and move, yeah. go into the other room, and say, "Hey, lady, call mum." Video call, and then you'd be able to carry on with your conversation again. So I'm not sure that would uh, that would work so well. But um, I mean, the other advantage I would say um, as well is if you've got two Echo devices together in a room, you can pair them um, as stereo speakers, which is quite cool. So then you get stereo sound. So that's pretty cool if you want two speakers. Um, if you've got multiple speakers or multiple, you know, echo devices around the home, you can set up um, you can set up a, a group. It's called a group, and you can call it anything like uh, you can call it everywhere or house group or music group or whatever. And when you're playing music from uh, Amazon Music, only Amazon Music, by the way, not Spotify or any of the other music services, just Amazon Music, you say, play this music, play, you know, uh, play some, uh, play the Beatles on the 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 everywhere group play, uh, the everywhere group or the everywhere uh, or the home group or the all over the house group. And the music will play on all of your devices at the same time. And that's great if you're having a party or something. Well, you shouldn't be having parties right now because we're still in lockdown. But that is great when, if you just want to walk around the home and you want music, you want the same song playing everywhere, like a bit like the Sonos systems, but you can do it very inexpensively um, with, with the Amazon Echo devices and you can have your music playing in every room in the house. And I think that's can you, amazing. Can you do it selectively? Well, you've got to pay. I thought you got to pay extra for each individual device. No, you don't. So if, if you if you have the um, if you've got Amazon Music and you're just gonna listen to music on one device, it'll cost you three ninety nine. Okay, yeah. a month. If you yeah. want to listen to music on more than one device, um, if you're a, if you're a Prime member of Amazon, you pay for all their deliveries and things. Oh yeah, you yeah. can get yeah. the full Amazon Music for seven ninety nine a month. I think it's about seven ninety nine a month. If you're not a Prime member, it's about nine ninety nine a month. But that gives you yeah, you can stream on multiple devices, then including all your your Echoes yeah. at home. So yeah, and um, I think John was asking a question there. What was that you were asking, John? I think you're muted there, John. Yeah, you... I've been trying to ask you a question for ages. Oh, have well, you? Go on, go yeah. on, go on, Yvonne. You asked me first. 
there, I've said before, actually, on my five, is there only yeah. one five? The little one with a nice little dinky screen and clock faces. Ah, so now, tell, that, oh, is that different? That's a different one. Oh, that, that is yeah. cool. That's called the spot. And I don't ah, think, I you, and I don't think you it? can get that anymore. Um, you may be able to get it, but it's not. It's not a current no, range. Okay, it's got a camera. Oh, right. Yeah. I, I wonder if Show and Tell works on that. Actually, no. She it keeps telling me it's not available on this it's device. It's not available for the spot. And I'm screaming at you. Should have. It's a bit small, isn't it? The spot. It's got a camera you know. though. It's got a camera though. It's got a so, camera. Yeah. Oh. That's a bit mean. Oh, isn't right. It? Okay. <laughs> it's a bit mean. So I forget it? the names of them, don't a bit I? Me. Yeah. yeah. So the Amazon Spot is like a circular screen with a display and a camera. And it's, it's literally like a little alarm clock size. Yeah, it is. That's yeah. the one. Yeah. I yeah. do have a spot. It's cute. Right, it's okay. quite cute. It's a cute little it ditty is thing. Cute. Isn't it? I love it. Yeah. But... yeah. Right, okay, so I've got to get a five then. I'm gonna dig, I'm gonna <laughs> dig, I'm gonna dig into that one now. Um go on, John. Um you have nine speakers in your own house. Can you be selective to which room? You can. Um I'm 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 getting into the more practice of it now. I am getting into I'm getting better at this. So basically, if I'm downstairs uh, and I want to play um music, I did this actually in my little girl's room and she wasn't waking up for school. So I, I just, 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 I just thought I'm sure, I'm sure that the A lady can do this. So I just yeah. said, A lady, play, um, little mix, in Olivia bedroom because her device is called Olivia bedroom. You see, so I say, play little mix in, uh, and, and the name of the song, um, I can't remember what song it was, Black Ma I think it was called um, Black Magic, the song Black Magic, and I said. Play, play a little mix, black magic, in Olivia bedroom, volume ten. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and it worked, yeah. And so oh. you can control other Amazon devices in your home if you ask yeah. the A lady. The A lady is Alexa. Is yes, the A lady oh, is no. Alexa. And if you ask her, you, say, you have to be careful that one morning at five a.m. or earlier that she <laughs> might not get the same idea. I know, yeah, maybe, maybe. But you can say <laughs> pause. You can say pause Olivia bedroom rather than pause. So if you want to control another device, you can do that. Hang on a second. I'm, I don't believe this. Privacy mode disabled. Okay. Privacy mode enabled. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. Privacy mode. Internet there's music on. playing Internet in. Code. No, there's music playing in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> Lex, I, stop. The Is Lady in there? <laughs> okay, I'll just let it play in the background. I, I've, I've obviously put it on by mistake. Come on, <laughs> oh, I've done that. I don't know. Mine kicks in. Mine kick in and off, on and off sometimes. But you Andrew? can. But you can. You can do that. Just to finish on John's question, you can't. Yeah, you can do that. And you can say play an audio book <laughs> in a different room. You can. So you, you can control the other speakers if you if you if you make sure you name them in the app first. So you can identify them with your voice. So my ones down, all my all mine are uh, all mine are named. So there's there's a kitchen, there's a bedroom, there's Olivia bedroom, there's living room, and there's there's television room, there's office, um, there's the toilet a, room. No, there isn't one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 none of that's going on. That's the time. Can you put the time in there? Can you purchase in the sale? Yeah, yeah. I think Rachel is going to ask me a question. Is it was it Rachel? Or Jenny? I think it was. I think it was me. I had three questions just because I'm hearing impaired and I want to make sure I'm understanding correctly. Okay, yeah, um, go for it. Right. So, first question I think uh, you've just verified is that you can sit there if you name all of the um, room. Is that easy to name all of them when you set them up? Uh, uh, yeah, if you if you're sufficient with a um, with a smartphone or or, or a tablet, <laughs> oh, I remember what you said before. Now, um, if you are, or if you've got someone that's you know that can, that that is uh, that's tech techable or tech able, then somebody who's savvy, <laughs> tech yeah, savvy, <laughs> then yeah, it's it's quite quite easy to name them. It does ask you when you set them up. Um, most people just hit next, 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 and it just gets called, you know. Oh, just self. It, it just gets it. called like Andrew's Echo or something like that. But no, you can name them specifically. 
Okay, so you can control all the other rooms if you want. Now, another question that I had uh, was, um, you keep saying a lady. So when you want to give it a command, are you saying a lady or are you saying Amazon, you know, do this, do that? Yeah. So I'm saying a lady because it's just to stop other people's, if other people haven't muted their, their a lady devices, their um, A-L-E-X-A -A devices, then I'm probably, right. I'm probably waking them all up and then they'll start all talking. And then we'll get interrupted by her in many different rooms. Of many different but if, so locations. if you're speaking to one, yeah, one, one Alexa, mm -hmm. is it actually going to give the order to all of the Alexas unless you specify? That's a it? really good question. Um, so it's through my experience, together. yeah, that, that's... I'm still struggling with that to get all mine because I wanted to, uh, well, I've, I've found I can't do alarms now. I can do a reminders in every yeah. room, you know. Through uh, my experience, through my experience, um, I found that it's got a lot better over the years in terms of if you are, if you're in a room and there's a room next door with the same wake <clears> name, the A L E X A, um, the the cloud is quite clever actually at determining um, which one you were closest to at the time. Yeah. And tends yeah. to I only that. it doesn't always work, but in it other words, if you're on the couch with totally all the devices, you that, no, it's gonna wake all of them. Yeah, because because you may be waking to it at, at, at a time. The, the up in the cloud, you know, in this, in in Amazon's clever, um, you know, computers and their servers, it's it's getting the volume. It probably thinks well, actually, the volume's louder on the one in the living room, so he must be closer to that one. So yeah. we'll we'll answer on that one. Now it doesn't always work, um, but there are other ways around it, and you can name your devices with four different names. You can have Amazon. You can have Alexa, I'll just have to say it. You can have Alexa. You can have computer, and you can also have Echo. But I can't I say can it. I, it the Echo never works for me that well, so I, I don't bother How with the Echo. Your Liverpool voice so, doing it. Yeah, probably. So am I, am I so am I understanding? Because I don't have one of these devices. When you want to wake it up, you're not saying Amazon. You know, read this. You know, read this. You're saying Alexa. Do you know Alexa? Do it, not Amazon Lady. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and so right. on. So on. On here, um, I thought today I'll pick Amazon for the Echo Show here because a lot of people by default everyone has Alexa. So I thought if I pick Amazon for this demonstration today. I'm not going to upset anyone's Alexa device, uh, you know, Alexa yeah. Echo Oh, devices. so I mean, you could technically turn through through our meeting, turn somebody else's Alexa on by saying it. Oh, it happens, oh it happens, yeah. Yeah, it happens all <laughs> Sorry, the time. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> so does the radio. <laughs> yeah. It's the funniest thing. Sometimes I do it on purpose just because I can. Well, the, joke, the joke's grown old a little bit now. <laughs> okay. And uh, the, no, the next... but you... <laughs> I think I had so, one more question, did you say? Yeah, I had one, I had one more question. Um, I wasn't really sure if I understood it correctly. Are you able to use the Alexa as an intercom to communicate, to say, like, get out of bed? You know, like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, so um, you can do, yeah. You can do that. There's a lot of customization you can do. So you can either have the intercom working on all of your devices. Um, you can make it's called an, it's actually called an announcement in the ecosystem, uh, and what you can say is you can say, "Hey, lady, make an announcement," and she'll say, "What's the announcement?" And then you say, um, "Come on, Olivia, it's time for your tea. Um, it's going cold. Can you please come downstairs?" And then it announces that announcement on all of your devices all around the house at once. So well, that'd be good in a party, won't it? Be family yeah. party. So you can, you can, you can do that. Uh, I, or when you can, it's time you can, to go home, you can make an announcement. Please leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's very polite. You don't want to be getting rid of people. That's a bit rude, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> don't do it then. Now oh, the announcement, yeah. the announcement itself is is just a direct message, and there's no response back from anyone. Now, if you want to speak to someone in within your own devices, you can do something called drop in. So you can actually say, "I could, I could now," and I and I do it with um, Louise <laughs> quite a lot. I can say, "Drop into kitchen," or "Drop into living room," and then we can have a a live conversation. And it's not like a phone call; it literally just drops me into the living room from either a smartphone, if I if I pick the device on a smartphone. 
Or if I ask the A-Lady, I'll just say, drop in on the living room. Bing, bing, bing. I'm in. Are you there? Can you make me a cup of tea, please? Because I'm in a meeting and I can't come and get it. I'm bringing it up. Oh, there's no escape. There's no, no, no sunny yeah. cat, so you can't <laughs> do which that she as replies, well. no. I know of some, but... Am I understanding correctly? If if you're saying uh, a lady um, uh, contacts, uh, you know, your daughter's bedroom and it works as instead of having to text message, you're just actually talking with each other back and forth. Yeah, just an intercom. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, my niece and and nephew will never get out of the room. Yeah. And what's what's really cool is um, obviously within the app, when you set things up, um, you can authorize outside contacts um for them to be able to drop in on you now i'll give you an example um if if you've got um if you're if you care for somebody for example um like a, like you like a mum or a dad or a granddad and you bought them an amazon okay. echo you, what you can do is when you set it up for them you can put yourself as a contact in there within the device within their cloud if you like within their ecosystem and you can authorize yourself for dropping. And what that means is you're not actually part of their ecosystem, but you can say drop in on dad and you can literally drop in on dad without it calling him. Now, you could say call dad and it would make a call and it would ring and he'd have to say a lady answer. But if you want, and you'd probably do that most of the time, but in an emergency, if there was no answer and you're like, well, I just want to get through and say, are you there, dad? Are you okay? Um, you can do a drop in via video or audio without him actually having to answer the device. But that that is authorized by you or your dad or whoever when you actually set it up. So you can authorize individual people to be able to drop in on you, which I think is quite good. Um <coughs> And, and that's something um, that, you know, I wouldn't abuse that. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't be dropping in on my dad all the time. I just, I'd, I'd call him most, I'd call him all the time. But if for some reason he was never answering, I'd drop in and say, are you all right, dad? Or I've been trying to ring you or, or whatever. I've done that a little bit at home. If I've been trying to ring my wife and she's not answering the phone, um, I've just dropped into the devices at home and said, are you there? I've been trying to ring you. Yo, oh, I'm here. Sorry, my phone's on silent. So I've been able to just kind of, you know, come in unannounced. Okay, this is a che- this is a che- this is a cheeky uh, question. Go on. If you're doing this, saying Alexa, drop in, whatever. Say, I want to drop into my child's bedroom. Can you use that and just not say anything and listen in on what's going on in the bedroom? If it's like, say, you have two children sitting there chatting away. Um. So when you when you drop in. The, the the privacy side of things is I mean that you, just sounds very cheeky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You could do <laughs> you could do that. I know, yeah. You could you I suppose you could I suppose you could do that. Um but, I mean, that just sounds like spyware. <laughs> <laughs> but but the device um what happens when you drop in the the um the receiving device makes a noise. It goes, bing, bing. But and you then can't surreptitiously do it. Yeah. There you go. No. And it has a ring. It has like a, um, around the, the, the device, it will have a, if it's like a normal echo, it'll have like a green ring lit up around the device, mm. signaling <laughs> that, that yeah. something's going on. So, yeah, you, you, you know, they try and be privacy conscious as possible mm. so that the person on the other end knows that they've been dropped yeah. in on. And here's one for okay. you that you'll like. Okay, so you will know if somebody, so if you look at your Alexa, it's, you'll, have a, you'll have an audio bing and a visual, and you'll, ha- you'll have an audio bing to, yeah. to, to let you know Tell and you. a video. video. Okay. Yeah. To say that someone's listening. And if you drop in on someone's Echo show, obviously you don't want them to be able to see video straight away. So when you do a drop in on an Echo show, there is there's 10 seconds because the screen's completely blurry, like yeah. a like a steamed window. And after 10 seconds, it clears. Now, for obvious oh, wow. reasons, because if it was in your bedroom, you know, you could be standing there with nothing on. 
<laughs> so, so, yeah. so if someone yeah if, if someone yeah if someone drops in on you if, if, if your family member was to drop in on you in your living room or or your bedroom or wherever you've got 10 seconds before they would <laughs> Yeah, so run and hide. <laughs> so Not that, very long. That is a that is a privacy thing. Of course, there is something else yeah. you can do. The the other the 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 person dropping in on you, they cannot control the physical camera button on the Echo Show. If you switch the physical oh. camera button on, right, that puts like a blanker, if you like, across the lens. And mine's just mm. said, mine's just said camera off when I did it, and it actually puts a physical blank plate across the camera lens. Oh, now, great! Now, Wait, how do you do that again? It, so on the Amazon, on the uh, the Echo Show devices, there's actually a physical slide button, and when oh, you so slide one in the right it, corner yeah, about. yeah, yeah, and when you slide it one way, it puts a physical blank plate across the camera lens. So it doesn't matter what software you've got. Or what technology you've got, you can't do anything about that if you're dropping in. But you you'll can't... always have that green light if somebody right. either does video or audio. Yeah, you'd still phone. have that as well. Yeah, and okay. if they dropped in, they'd only get the audio. There'd be no video. So you, but as another, as a privacy oh, kind right. of measurement, you can you can pull that across, and they would they wouldn't be able to. You know that that family member that you've allowed to join, um, they wouldn't be able to see the video instantly. They'd, be, they'd have the audio, but they wouldn't have the video. Oh, great. So that's something that you can do. And that's a physical mm -hmm. switch. So it's a physical kind of blank plate that oh, comes across oh. the lens, you see, and blocks it off. So, so is, is Alexa working off of your Wi-Fi in yeah. the house? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, off all the so Wi-Fi. Be a free, so all of this is free calls and stuff like that? Yeah, all free calls. You can make phone calls. Um, I mean, I love the way with, with the A-Lady, you can make a call to a mobile or a landline telephone free of charge in the UK using the Amazon. Once you've got your contacts in um, the ecosystem, you can say, call mum, call dad, call John, call Sue, and it will make the call and it's free, it's free for you to call them. So that's pretty cool as well. So was, is that international as well? It's uh, it's it doesn't what no it doesn't it doesn't tend to work in uh, internationally as far as I've um, found Oops. with it. Oh well, that messes my house up. <laughs> I'll give it a go I though. Still use WhatsApp for international ones. Well, yeah. um, you can use WhatsApp to video call somebody. Yeah, I, was, I, was, yeah. I was just I was just thinking hands free. So yeah, yeah. well WhatsApp do can be hands free. You can you yeah. can do your uh, your voice command on your phone. But um, I'm just try. wondering whether or not the uh, the A Lady facility would work on the premium rate numbers. I need to. IPhone. No, no, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't doesn't work on your premium. Rate. No, doesn't work yeah. on your premium rates, unfortunately. But you know what? I'll I'll be honest with you. Um, if you're thinking about getting into this ecosystem, if you not one, if you don't know where to start, then join the club because there is so much. That you can do within the um, the Alexa ecosystem. Um, well, you've got to hand your details yeah. over to them. Yeah. A, lot the, a lot of the things to just to remind everybody, uh, uh, Andrew's not said yet. Uh, in order for a lot of the uh, Amazon things to work, you've got to hand over the login, uh, the passwords for any services you're currently using, and obviously your contacts if you want this yeah. intercom facility to use dropping and things like that you've got to be prepared to surrender some of this what some might see is rather private data yeah so you've got you do so for example there are certain services you know you can integrate with um, with alexa for example like netflix for example or it may be a third party um uh, telecommunication service that you might want to use with it or it might be um i'm just trying to think it might be your smart uh, your smart lights in your home and things like that. What you do have to do quite a bit of is linking up um, with that service. So, for example, if you've got the ring doorbell, or if you've got the um, if you've got like smart bulbs from Philips, or um, you've got um, ooh, I don't know um, an air purifier. 
yeah, smart washer, an air purifier, whatever that might be. You have to connect that service up with your A Lady account, and that's like a linking thing where you you search for the you know you search in the 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 relative uh, it's called um, skills and games store in the app on the Alexa app. You you find, for example, um, my, I've got a Philips air purifier, so I would search for Philips air purifier in the and it would come up with that skill, and it would then ask me if I want to link my Philips air purifier to my A Lady so I can control it. Um, I've got to log in with my login details to connect the two together. So you do have to do things like that. Um, but there's loads of stuff that you can do without having to give more details away. So all the all the features that are built in with Alexa um, are generally around your Amazon account. So if you've got an Amazon account, that's what you use um, to enable um, your 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 Amazon Echo. Um, obviously, if you want to call friends and family and things like that, the app will ask if it can sync the contacts from your phone or your tablet so that they go up into the, the Amazon cloud in your own private encrypted space. And that means then you can ask to call those people from any of your devices. So you can do things like that. Of course, if you don't want to share your contacts, you could just give it the phone number. So you can say, um, you know, a lady call 01257 241 28 whatever you know you can give it the, the whole number if you if you know it and you memorize it and it'll call it for you that way as well if mm. you don't want if you don't want to sync your contacts so um yeah there's there's lots of there's so many things you, you can do with them and i could probably do a whole year's worth of uh, workshops around what you can do with the amazon echo so. so is there an easy location that one would go to to find out for themselves i mean i have a dumb house so there's no way i have to worry about anything else <laughs> it's not a smart house it's just a dumb house <laughs> <laughs> um i mean great resources uh, i mean there's loads of stuff on on but easy um, for technophobes um i think once you get get one set up you know, mm -hmm. you, you need someone who's maybe a little bit tech savvy to help you or obviously get in touch with Galloway's and, and, and I and I can try and help you as well as best as we can. But once, yeah, once you get one set up, there's a, there's so much stuff that you can do just by using your voice. And, and also, I've, I've not even mentioned about the Galloway's A-Lady skill today. So remember, we've got a skill, which is the, <laughs> which is the Galloway's support through sight loss skill. So if you say to your A-Lady device, enable Galloway's support through sight loss, you'll get our skill where you can listen to all of our audio content, talking newspapers, our uh, what's going on guys, and you can get all that just by using your voice with your, with your Amazon Echo as well. So there's a great reason for getting one, just you know, engaging with Galloway's through your, through your Amazon Echo. Can um, you connect the Alexa to uh, like the Audible book so it can yeah. just do yeah. the audio? Yeah, you? yeah, absolutely. So, um, my um, for anyone that doesn't know, Audible is a talking book service. It's owned by Amazon. So, of course, because it's owned by Amazon, it's part of the ecosystem. Um, it actually naturally integrates with your Amazon account. So, if you um, you have to make sure, and I've come across this a lot. Um, if you want to link all these things up, the easiest way of doing this to save a lot of pain is to have an Amazon account. And use that for your your echoes when you set those up. And also when you sign up for Audible, you use the same Amazon account because you can log into Audible with the same Amazon account. You only need one Amazon account. And then if you do it that way, any books that you buy through Audible are instantly available via any of your Echo devices simply by saying, hey, lady, play my Audible book, best seat in the house. That's a book I'm listening to at the moment. So you just have to tell it the name of the book, play my Audible book, best seat in the house, and it'll start playing from where you, from where you left off. If you listen to it on your smartphone and pause it, and then a few hours later go to your Amazon Echo and play it, it will play from where you were listening to on your smartphone, but on your Amazon Echo, because it's all so you can play all your speakers too, won't yeah, it, as yeah. well, all your Amazon devices. Um, yeah. This is this yeah. I'm sorry, all, I can't hear you. Yeah. I didn't hear what you just said. It, 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 you can play it on all your Amazon devices. So it's all, it's, all, it's all synced in the cloud, everything you do. So when you listen to something, 
or you watch something, your progress is saved. So then when you come to one of your other devices and you resume, it knows where you're up to. Now that's why I can go from one room to the other and listen to the same audio book and it still knows where I am. What if you have multiple accounts, you know, and you want to go to the Audible, say I'm you like somebody else I share, uh, you know, yeah. I use their Audible account. Whoa. And, <laughs> well, I don't know. No, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a family member who has the account. Yeah. So you I know, couldn't tell you. I'd really have to look into that. I couldn't tell yeah. you. I, I've got a feeling you can't link multiple accounts, but I'll have a look. I mean, if you've got a family member, say, you know, like a spouse, a child, they have their own account. Yeah. And obviously, yeah. you know, you're pay even if you're paying for that account, you still yeah. want to be able to access your books. Because why great. pay twice? That is a great question. And Can to you be find honest, out for me? Yeah, I'll have a look at that. It's something I've not really looked into because I've not needed to. But um, but now obviously, I do. for privacy reasons, <laughs> my like my my. I, my you know my family member will be paying for you know another family yeah. member but yeah. they want their privacy obviously you know, don't want yeah. you sorting yeah. through your stuff but yet they have you know because amazon lets you have say mom's account dad's account this one. Oh yeah absolutely no yeah. no i will i will have a look at that it's a great question uh, and i'll definitely have a look at that i've got a feeling that you can't but I, 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 especially I, I, with a 16 year old son he's not letting me go anywhere near his accounts <laughs> <laughs> I promise he doesn't want me to know what he's doing, what he's looking at at that age. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna take one more question before we wrap up today. I hope everyone's enjoyed it today. I think it's been a good session. Yeah, yeah. Good. yeah. 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 Any, anyone, yeah. anybody got a, a question? Another question that they want to ask? That's not asked one yet. Is there anyone? I presume uh, there's a lot of information on YouTube uh, how to maximize the devices, I yeah. mean, you've obviously done your best to explain everything. Yeah. Uh, um, there is, yeah. There's loads of stuff on, on, on YouTube, yeah, loads. What do you put? Alexa? Anything. How, how, how to set up Audible. I, I'm amazed with YouTube at what you can find. So, yeah. yeah, if you go on YouTube and you want to know how to do something, um, then, yeah, I mean, type, type in, like... Um, type in Alexa and, and Audible, and that will come up with loads of videos on how you use Audible with Alexa. Type in, you know, how do I um, how do I set up uh, my telephone contacts with Alexa? And there'll be a video on that. I guarantee it. There's loads of stuff. The, the, the YouTube, the internet is, is full of, um, full of techie people and uh, personalities, you know, who have their own YouTube channels, where they talk mm -hmm. about tech and they do how to's guides, all kinds of stuff. So there's loads of stuff out there on YouTube. So yeah, give give well, YouTube a whirl. Mm. All right. Andrew. Yes, Rosalie. Um, well, uh, since I started, um, since I got my Echo Dot, I've been getting emails from Amazon, and they tell me what I can do with my Alexa. Like they tell me about yeah. the different yeah. skills yeah. and things like yes, that. Yes, you do. Yeah, yeah. you do get them yeah. every every I Friday. Yeah. Every, every Friday. Every Friday, yeah. Friday, about eight o'clock in the morning when you're still in bed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I did, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Something about it. What's at eight o'clock in the morning? So every, every time when you get an Amazon, Amazon device, Amazon. yeah, you get, you get yeah, you get an email from Amazon every Friday with. What it's kind of like, what's new with Amazon? What can I say? What can I mm. do? And it gives you all, 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 all types of fun stuff, useful stuff. Um, yeah, it's it's really good actually. You always give it, always give it a read. Every Clearly, year. I'm missing out on the world. Well, I never yeah. had one of those. So, I so, have an Echo Dot. I've never had an email. Have you not had one? Oh, no. that's it. It it sometimes if if somebody else has set it up for you and they've used a different email address, then that might be why you're not getting the emails oh, as well. Probably. Yeah, because that's, that's, what you that's my about. problem. I've, I've I like my Echo Dot, but yeah. I need an Android somewhere to set it up. Yeah, <laughs> in here <laughs> we all need an Android. Well, get yeah. kettle, get that Keep kettle on. Him. Get that I'll kettle on him. when COVID's over. When COVID's over, get that kettle on and, uh, mm -hmm. and I'll be on. Get the biscuit tin out and the kettle on and I'll be there. <laughs> no mean spies. No mean spies. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll get hot cross buns. Oh, hot cross buns. Absolutely. Never know if you're really lucky. Somebody <laughs> might make you a bacon sandwich with brown sauce. 
Yeah. Oh. I love that. I love that when I got the brown salt and I said, you Yeah, know, it was brilliant, that. And then it said, oh, pairs yeah. perfectly with bacon and sausage sandwiches. I was like... Oh, but the bacon needs to be crispy. Yeah, tea, didn't she? It does. It does need to be crispy. Yeah, it does need to be crispy. Oh, so there yeah. so there you go. So, guys, it's, I'm going to... It's been great today. I really, really enjoyed it. Thanks for... Thanks for all okay, your Okay, Andrew, thank you. Thank you. It's been very thank helpful. You.